So for a little bit of background, two years ago we had a chipmunk that I trained just like little boy, except he was not afraid of anybody. We just called him Chippy. And he was like an outdoor pet. It was amazing. He would, if we were having a party up here on the deck, cook out, you know, 20 people, he would just come up and visit with the people, sit there, drink, eat, whatever, and take off and come back later. If I'd be laying in the, we had a, like a chaise lounge out here, I'd be up on that. He'd hop up on the lounge and lay down at the foot of the lounge beside my feet. It's the darndest thing I ever saw. He, uh, that was the first year. The second year, um, it was a cold winter. He came out in May. And um, he was here until July. Just like the year before, he was very friendly, associated with the family. Um, there's a there was a farm down the road and they had a couple of feral cats and one of them finally killed Chippy. I was very upset about that, but anyway, Chippy had two babies, um, little girl and little boy, and this is little boy's second year, um, and he's working out really good. Chip, Chip, come on, Chip, Chip, little boy, come on, Chip, Chip, Where he went. Anyway, um, now little boy found another chipmunk. Uh, we call her uh, Jenny. And Jenny just had two pups. And little girl, I think she's got two pups, but I've seen one with her. Come on, Chip Chip. It's getting close to time to go. Right here. Where'd you go? Huh. Where did you go? Oh, you want the... All right. Because I love you. You know that, buddy. But take these, too, because I don't want to waste them. All right? Right there. I know it's disappointing. I don't have any more. Eat those, dude. Actually, I do, but I'm not going to tell him that. Yeah. All right, Chip Chip. Come on back. Got a couple more runs, and then I gotta go.